Arul, in the second video, just indicate how did it go ahead? Who was the sculptor, architect? And apart from this colonel that you named, there must have been somebody senior to him, uh, his name, all yours. Yeah. So, the architect was a famous guy, a uh, person uh, by the name of Ram Sutur, Sutra. And uh, he was uh, a Padma Bhushan awardee and uh, um, uh, famous for his sculpture in Parliament House, the, the Mahatma Gandhi statue, uh, which he had done, which is, I think, one of the best works of his. And he, the latest work when I was doing this project was also the Sadar Patel statue uh, in Gujarat, the highest statue in the world. So, he was a famous person and I was delighted that, you know, I'm going to work with him and he will do a justice to my work, which was being copied. And, uh, I, you know, that's how the whole thing started. And um, the, the army gave me full backing in whichever way I, I needed in help of, you know, ge getting models or something to he help the sculptor. So, Rajarav was uh, asked to help me out. They came and gave me some people to help me out. And that's how the whole thing started. Uh, eventually, as we progressed, I found that, you know, th th I had to contribute much more than what I thought I'd be contributing. Because um, his, he was very good in uh, getting portraits of faces very accurately. But the murals were a little difficult for him because I don't think he handled murals very much. And uh, as we progressed, I had to get myself involved physically using my hand to, to model the clay uh, uh, because he was making mistakes here and there. And uh, his, the Ram Sutu was very good, but unfortunately he was 94 years at that point of time. And at that age, his contribution was good, but very limited. His son, so, as, uh, perhaps, uh, do I understand it right, that uh, for the portrait yeah. of the PVC winners, uh, he was able to do it uh, well? as you wanted, but it was in the case of uh, military paintings, the war paintings, that uh, your involvement was more intense yeah. and uh, he needed a support, advice, suggestions from you. Is that correct? Absolutely. And um, besides the uniform and, you know, the, the, the battle dress we wear and the weapons we carry, which where I could help him, but, but he did have, uh, you know, the, the Doing a uh, mural with a with a scene to be depicted, and you know explosion and things like that, he didn't have that capability, and which is easy to paint, but to put it in 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 bronze was difficult. And so, to so some degree, he he wasn't able to depict it very much. But what you see is, I will show in my pictures how much he had contributed to get it done. It was. Not a hundred percent work, but the best you could do, that's all. Uh, now, just uh, I'm curious to know, I'd like to know the viewers perhaps too, that uh, your suggestions, your feedback to him, yeah. was it all verbal or you had to make some drawings, give it to him in writing? How did it, the communication between you and Sutta take place? Well, all my work which was copied was, you know, the ratio of two to three. Uh, I mean, if it's... 45 inches wide, uh, painting the 45 inches wide and 30 feet, uh, 30 inches high, we have probably expanded by 60 to 30. Okay. So the expansion I did because they had to copy from my work and uh, mural what you see in the National War Memorial is all uh, elongated kind of work. And so you had to give him artwork. I had to redo the whole work in, okay. uh, yeah. and then uh, you, we blew it up to a size we wanted uh, with the present technology to blow up pictures at a size you want and they copied it uh, onto the mural and uh, the whole thing is done in a process of clay we modeled the whole thing in clay and then using a, a process known as a lost wax process they get this into a bronze bronze okay and uh, all this uh, process uh, from start, your involvement when you were approached, to when uh, you said goodbye, uh, took how much time? One year, two months. Okay, more than a year. And who was the senior military officer who used to contact you? No, the, the person I was one-to-one -one basis was a Colonel Basera, a wonderful okay. person, I would right. put him. An engineer officer? 
Uh, no, from the Gurkhas. Gurkhas, okay. And uh, who was his senior? Uh, General Alok Singh, I think. Okay. Uh, Alok Nath, I don't know what exactly. Okay. Um, Alok. And um, who was the architect, incidentally, relating to this uh, portion? Uh, the architect was Madras, who actually won the award. There was a competition held for this, to okay. design this National War Memorial. Right. And at the thousands of entries, he was selected for, uh, he was, his work was selected. And uh, I think it's a fantastic design, and, you know, from the point of uh, how we went about doing it. And um, yeah, I think, uh, so for the funny part of it, when my name went up on the inaugural plate, uh, his and my name were there, and both of us unfortunately got removed. You mean to say, uh, your name, uh, just make it clear, where was your name supposed to be there? Yeah, it was... As part of credit. Yeah, it was as promised by the military. No, but where was it supposed to be? It at was the supposed gate to, or at each no, painting? No, the inaugural plate was at the entrance to the memorial. Your name was to be there in the inaugural yeah, plate? Yeah, and they did put it up. But okay. for reasons I don't know, they removed it. Uh, during this one year period that you were associated, was there any visit, uh, supervisory or monitoring by any of the politicians? No, no I think. No netas? No way, nobody. And okay. they, they gave me a free hand. Okay. And um, I only know that uh, the architect were, were very cooperative with me. I okay. had nothing against them. N not architect, sorry, the sculptor. Okay. And uh, nothing against me. Uh, and I got along very well. What do you think? They promised that I'll be acknowledged in the bronze uh, mu mu murals when because of my contribution to them. But when it finally came in the end, uh, they said, no, we cannot put his name on the mural. So I just accepted it because after all, they were the ones who were casting the bronze and whatnot. <laughs> you were uh, saying it that you accepted it. Uh, perhaps you had no option and yeah. you gave it up. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Yeah. And, but, uh, I think a museum of this uh, memorial of this sort, which would be there for posterity, for the generations, uh, it was only fair that uh, your name and your contribution should have found a place of prominence yeah. uh, so that they know about it. Yeah. And um, ultimately, uh, would you like to tell the viewers how much did you gain monetarily? Uh, well, I won't. Uh, there was a small amount promised. It was when, too uh, meager. And, and that was not fully given because okay. I think uh, they had their own problems. It was actually money came from the architect and not from the uh, Ministry of Defense. I believe the total uh, sort of uh, project uh, for this portion, this part of the memorial was more than about 150 crores. Is that right? Uh, I really don't know. It's approximately around that. Maybe. Okay. And uh, in so far as the sculpture is concerned, Ram Sutarji, uh, he got a, perhaps a substantial amount. Yeah, I think, uh, why well, rumors, I'm not even clear, sure, but around about 18 crores. I think. 18 crores. Hmm. And uh, you did not even get one hundredth portion of that? No, and I, I would have and thought nothing. In fact, uh, the while banking on my name, but yes. unfortunately, even that was they, not. Even that, they, you know, cut uh, me down. But I'm sure that this video uh, will convey to the viewers the amount that you put in as a senior citizen much after your military career is over for this war memorial and uh, well so that they know about it. Uh, this brings us to the end of this video too and in video 3 uh, we would see if there are any other details relating to the war memorial that uh, you may like to bring out for the viewers. Thank you.